day. Leg day coming in on a Monday, so this is my third week on the swole program. It's really the first leg day I've done though in four days. So it's an eight day split. Also the reason why it's my first leg day and that long is because I've been taking more rest time in between or more days in between my leg day because my back, my knee, had been having issues. Got the MRI back on my knee, came back negative. So I didn't have a tear in my MCL. But what I did have is I had a cyst on my knee and then also my spine of my tibial, my tibialis muscle or my, my tibia bone. Um, There's some stuff with it that was caused by deep bending on squats. So that being said, took some days off. Gonna be jumping back into it today. Starting here with deadlifts after that amazing warm up that we just did. That warm up, I'm definitely sweating. I'm wearing, I, I usually wear long sleeves on leg day. This is long enough that I'm covering up the arms because we all know the blood goes to our legs. You, you'll start looking like you have small arms on leg day. This is actually from the new line, the new Steve Cook Gymshark line that's dropping in Melbourne, March 10th and 11th. It's the first time I've announced that. March 10th and 11th, this will be dropping in Melbourne. So if you're in Australia or if you're anywhere in the world, come hang out in Australia if you can. There's no better excuse to go to Australia. There's always, always a good time to go. So. Um, that'll be dropping here soon. I'm wearing the, the, the tan, the coffee today. <sighs> Leg day. And I had a lot of pizza this weekend. It's going to be interesting. Oh, people say they never see me deadlift, but this is me sumo deadlifting. Uh, sumo is just a lot easier for me the way I'm built. I have a longer torso, short arms. I am not built for deadlifting. That being said, I need to get better at doing it. 15 reps each set here. After that, we are into our a low bar on the back box squat. So this I really did just normal box squat here. It's not a low bar for me. You can see I'm not quite going to 90 here. This is 15 reps on these days. Higher reps, not going quite um, to parallel. This is great also for my knee, but this is definitely a day scheduled in the program. Everything is built on progression. So. Everything is done for a reason. After that, we have the standing calf raise. This is a superset we have with our box squat. Checking out the ollie shoes there. Calves all the way down, stretch at the bottom, all the way up, half second pause there at the top. We don't have a standing calf raise, so I had to make two. This is my second set. We're doing 50% of our one rep max on back squat here, so I have 250. And then back to the calf raise. On my box squats, you'll notice I don't come all the way up on these, and I should have for sure. On my calf raises here, I am, but my box squats, come on, man. Yeah, that's, I mean, I guess that's all the way up. Making sure full range of motion is most important things with the calf training. Don't forget calves. I know uh, next up we have the barbell straight leg deadlifts. Now, the biggest thing here is not to round your back. I push my butt out as far as I can. I pretend there's a door. I got my hands full of groceries, and I pretend I have to close my car door shut with my butt, pressing out as far as I can. Again, we're waiting on our seated calves, so you got to make do. This is an interesting one. Set the plates up, so just like the standing calf raise, but you're just adding some weight with the dumbbells. I didn't love this variation, if I'm being honest. Supersetting it here, we have 12 to 15 reps on this barbell straight leg deadlift, or dumbbell straight leg deadlift, I'm sorry. Come on, man. Get it. You guys can see that little like knot at the bottom of my ankle when I do those. Biggest thing here, when you start rounding that back, come up, push through your heels. Right there, you see that thing on the bottom of my ankles? What is that? Uh, what is, I've had that since high school. I, anyhow, barbell lunges, three sets of 10 here. This is just alternating, so I go left foot, right foot, left foot. Biggest thing here is you want to make sure you are stepping out far enough that you're able to then track in the niche, just barely come over the toe. Um, you don't want to get bunched up, though, so you got to make sure you step out far enough. And then we have our back extension. I'm doing it on our glute ham raise. Um, Back extension on this. We're going to get a 45 degree back extension here soon. This is making do. Biggest thing is vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll up, squeeze the glutes, and then a little half second pause at the top. This is just a core exercise. You know, you're not going to. I, I don't do these with weights because I just use it really as a as a strengthener. Um, and then we have lying hamstring curls. Lying hamstring curls. You guys have all seen these before. 
all the way down, all the way up. You see my elbows are on the pad rather than my chest because what that does is it forces my hips into the pad, which then activates the hamstrings a lot more. So you're, you're not bringing it. If, you're, if your chest is on the pad and your, your butt is up, you don't activate as much of the glutes or, sorry, the hamstrings. Finishing up my lunges, walking on the turf, because if you could walk, why not do that? Into our back extensions. This leg day was, like I said, a, a high volume leg day, and uh, for me, I took it. I took it somewhat moderate. I didn't go. Um, you know, I, I followed all of my my weights, but I, I did my knee bothered me. Like on this set here, I ended up only doing eight. I can't lie to you guys. I can't lie to you guys. But back extensions, I stayed put. Getting an MR, the MRI came back negative, so I got to do rehab, physical therapy for some of the stuff that's going on in there. And then I'm also starting yoga. It's a good leg day right there. High, high volume. We're gonna go high volume, and then next week, well, at the end of this week, actually, we start our deload week. Nice to let your body recover. Three weeks of hard training, we're gonna back off for about five days. That allows us to come back even more fresh. I get to go to New York during this deload portion, which is actually a good thing. Biggest thing for me is gonna be just doing that mobility. Mobility and sleep. Nutrition, water, if you're not doing those things, you might wind up hurt. I gotta definitely stretch out this back. Speaking of mobility, that's what I'm about to do right now.